new videos every day. Hey, it's Dina. We're ready for another good cardio workout. So this one, you really don't need anything, just a little bit of space and your own body weight. So let's get started. We're just gonna get started with a light little warm up. So first go ahead and squat down and bring your right knee up for a little squeeze. Squat down and your left knee up. And you wanna make sure to maintain your balance. This is just getting our blood pumping and a little light warm up to make sure that we're all nice and loose for our good little cardio. So make sure to squeeze and center that balance over your standing leg. So don't forget to breathe. It's the most important part. Give me two more right here. And two. Here we go. And our next move will be bring your left leg up and touch that left toe. Right leg up, touch that right toe. And repeat. So for this series, we're getting into a few Tabata workouts, which is basically interval training. So we're gonna make sure we do 20 second intervals with a 10 second rest. It's gonna burn the maximum amount of fat and the least amount of time. That's what we all want, right? Max results, minimum time. So give me two more right here. And two. And we're gonna go and get right in it. So get down on your mat. I've got my little timer, so don't worry, I'm not gonna go over. So, 20 seconds. I want you to get into plank position. Your modification will be on your elbows. And if you're a super beginner, you can go ahead and get on your knees too. So this first series of exercises, I'm gonna do the beginner. We're gonna repeat the circuit and do it again with advance. So you can pick your modification. So I want you to take your legs out and back in. 20 seconds, here we go. So out in, make sure you engage your core. Engage your butt. This is a great full body workout. I don't want to see any sagging tailbone, so don't let me catch you looking like this. Keep your butt up. Come on, two seconds. There you go. That's 10 seconds. That's all you need. So 10 second rest, and then we're getting straight into burpees. You guys know what burpees look like, right? So three, two, and one. Here we go. This is your beginner, but you can walk out, jump up, and just stand. So, do as many reps as possible. You can do reps with me. You can do just reps until I say the timer's gone off. Whatever works best for you. Oh, there you go. 10 more seconds. So our next one is going to be leg overs. And you're gonna take your legs like you're trying to get them over a pole. So right here, 20 seconds, let's go. So hands on your hips to maintain your balance. Swing your legs up and over like that. Imaginary fence post. You wanna make sure that you maintain your center of balance over the standing foot. 20 seconds, all right. 20 seconds is easy, right? So our next exercise is gonna be on the ground doing scissor kicks. So here we go. And there's no modification for this. We're just gonna do regular scissor kicks. Your upper body is on the ground. Don't forget to breathe. Engage your core, keep your legs straight. Shoulder blades on the ground. And we're done with those, at least. So our next one is going to be push-ups. Oh, don't we love, we love push-ups, don't we? So go ahead and get ready in that plank position. And here we go. Your modification can always be on your knees, but you wanna make sure that you're going down as low as possible. And if you're in a modification, don't be in that tabletop position. 
Scoot your booty down. Here we go. All right, 10 seconds. Our next one is gonna be accordions. You're gonna be so focused on these exercises, you're totally gonna forget that your next exercise is coming again in 20 seconds. Here you go, accordions, hands in for your modification, legs out. Bring your knees up and out, up and out. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in on the extension and exhale. In. It's a great core exercise. All right. Your next one. 10 second rest right here. And we're gonna get into some squats. Everybody knows what squats look like. So, ready, set, and here we go, 20 seconds. Making sure you're bent down, squeezing your glutes on the way up. Squeeze and bending down, making sure your knees don't go past your toes and that your chest stays up and lifted. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, chest lifted, exhale, squeeze. 20 seconds. All right, our next ones will be reverse lunges. So go ahead and get at the top of your mat and you're gonna be going back into a lunge. Okay, 20 seconds starting right here. Back into a lunge. Lunge. You're making sure that your knee doesn't go past your toes and the front leg and that your knee stays bent at a 90 degree angle. Okay, skaters. We have a 10 second rest and then we're into skaters. Have as many reps as possible. You wanna maintain the balance over your standing leg and add that little hop. All right, here we go. Just 20 seconds, as many reps as possible. Stick it, making sure to stay low. And it doesn't matter how far you go, it just matters that you maintain your balance over your standing leg. 10 seconds. You guys ready to get back in that plank position? So get back into mountain climbers. You have five more seconds to rest. So take a deep breath and here we go. So mountain climbers, you can do them on your knees or you can do them on your, fore on your forehand or on your elbows. Don't do these on your knees. Never mind, forget I said that. So you can go up right here, driving your knee into your chest. All right, now it's time to repeat that whole circuit, doing everything, and you can do it the same with the easier modification, or you can do it with the modification that I'm about to offer, which is a little bit more challenging. You just start to feel your heart rate up a little bit, maybe a little out of breath. So let's get back into that plank position, and instead of doing walks, we're gonna do plank jacks, all right? You ready to go? 20 seconds, give me all you got. Plank jacks. Making sure to keep that core in line. Don't hike that butt up. Don't lower it down. You can do this on your forearms. That makes it a little easier. But this is a more advanced version. You can always do out and ends, just walking. But it's a little too difficult. Okay, burpees. We all know the intense modification for burpees, right? Well, I'm about to show you. You go down, jump, back, up, and jump. And this one, we're gonna add a little bit of a push up at the bottom too. So, 20 seconds. Burpees, push up, and jump. Push up, and jump. Push up. And if this is easy for you, then you and I can never be friends because this one is one of my single most hated exercises. All right. Okay. Scissor kicks, I know, like leg overs. Here we go. You have about five more seconds to rest. Four, three, and here we go. All right, 20 seconds right here. 
You can keep your leg on your hips, or arms on your hips, or arms up. You should start being breathing a little bit heavy. Moderate intensity exercise. You can kind of talk. Vigorous intensity exercise. You can only get out one or two words at a time. We want this to be moderate to vigorous intensity. All right, so we're gonna get back down and do scissor kicks. You can have your, your arms down or your arms up overhead. So, here we go. Your modification for more advanced is to get your shoulder blades off the mat. So make sure to bring those feet low. And don't forget to breathe. Engage your core, engage your shoulder blades, but lift your head, gazing at one spot on the ceiling, gently with your fingers. No pulling with your neck. Okay, 20 seconds done. Our next one is push-ups. Remember that was our, our easy modification, right? So our next one is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that knee to that elbow and push back up. You ready? I know I am. 20 seconds right here. And knee. Knee to elbow. If this is difficult, but you're working towards it, you can always go knee on the ground. Right here, two more seconds. Just give me two more. All right, 10 second rest, and then back into accordions. We know what our easy modification was, which was hands on the ground. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of a challenge and take our hands off the ground. You guys ready? And here we go, out and in. Make sure you stabilize. This is not an erratic movement. You wanna make sure that you do it with good form. With those shoulder blades, stay lifted. And exhale, inhale, exhale. All right. Our next one is squats. You can go ahead and towel dry off a little bit, get a little bit of water, and get ready for those squats. If you're doing the advanced modification, we're gonna add a little jump. You ready? 20 seconds right here. Inhale, making sure you have that good form where your knees aren't past your toes and your chest stays lifted. Come on, you have four seconds. All right. So, lunges. Simple reverse lunges, you can stay there. Or if you want to add a little bit of a challenge, we're going to add a little bit of a hop. So, here we go. Start in that lunge position and hop. And hop. And reverse. Come on. You only have like five seconds left. There you go. Now 10 second rest. Then we're going into skaters. There's really no modification for that. Just make sure to catch your breath. And here we go. Back into skaters. Make sure to breathe. Make sure to pause. Get water if you need it. If you're starting to have a little bit of you know, breath kind of like I am, then you're working hard. Go ahead and like it. Thumbs up and favorite me for next time. Working out ain't easy. Cardio ain't fun, right? You gotta love it. So next into mountain climbers, go ahead and get back down. This is our last exercise. So go ahead and give me all you got. Now mountain climbers, you can either stay walking or you can add a jump. So, 20 seconds right here. This is the advanced modification. You can always, always stick with just the driving your knee to your chest and walking. 
drive that knee forward. Try to make sure your shoulders are balanced on top of your arms. And there you go. So, make sure to take a few deep breaths. Your cool down doesn't really need to be much. Your warm up is definitely more important than your cool down. The time it takes for you to walk from your computer room or wherever you're doing this exercise to go get a glass of water, that's pretty much all the cool down that you need. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few stretches. So go ahead and take those arms behind and lift that chest up and hinge forward at your waist, letting gravity do all the work, stretching out your hamstrings, slight bend in your knees, release your hands, look forward, a little bit of a forward fold, and then roll your way back up. And then using whatever you need to balance, stretch out those quads just a little bit. We did get into those using some lunges and squats. It's my imaginary wall right here. Sometimes it helps. And then plie position all the way down. One more time. And give yourself a pat on the back. Thanks for joining me, and there'll be more of these coming. Have a great day. Star, you're so famous. You're so famous. Everybody saw you in the video. Everybody saw you in the video. So thank you for saying it. I'm going to